Good morning, Kevin, and congratulations on purchasing this beautiful 1963 Corvette split window resto mod. Um, I'm going to make this video to show you some things about the car since we can't meet in person and uh, go over some uh, features of the car that, that were added. Um, we did put the kill switch in the car. Uh, we have it hidden, and I'll show you where that is. It's a very simple toggle switch, and I'll show you the operations of the air conditioning and the radio in the car, as well as um, where the fluids go in the car under the hood. The car looks awesome. So I'll start inside and work my way around. So we've got the lights, uh, pull switch here. Pull it once, goes to parking lights, pull it twice, goes to headlights. And there's also a high beam switch on the floor. Uh, this is your windshield wipers. Turn it once for low speed, turn it twice for high speed. You push this button is your windshield washers. Um, your lighter is a lighter. We work our way over to the center console. Down below you'll see a dial. All the way to the right will be your air conditioning and all the way to the left will be your heat. It has a red dot on the on the left and a uh, blue dot on the right to show you the, the hot and cold. These two uh, dials do your air conditioning. So this is your fan speed. So it's got 10 speeds. You turn it up, it'll make the fan blow. This is going to be your uh, direction of your air so all the way to the right is going to be your defroster and if you turn it back this way it'll come out of these vents on either side and you can do a mix there's a, I think there's about I think there's 10 different variations here too you can feel the clicks when you turn it um, this is your retro sound radio so this looks like an old radio or an old radio but it's a new one and um, this is auxiliary uh, one and two it's got two auxiliary ports and we have those here, they have a USB and an aux plug to plug your phone in. This car also has Bluetooth. Um, there's a speaker that is right above the sun visor here. You can see it there. So you can uh, answer the phone while you drive with your Bluetooth. Just below the radio, you'll see that little stainless steel button here. That's your electric parking brake. You hit it once, it'll beep. You'll hear it engage. Okay, so your parking brake is engaged now. You hit it again, it'll disengage. Similar to the new Corvettes. And that's it. Now right below in your center console, you have power windows, the switches are here. Now down is down, up is up. To shift the car, you push this, uh, the button down. Uh, you push the knob down and you shift through the gears. On, this, on the steering column, you've got tilt, so you, you push this forward and the wheel tilts up and down. This is your directional switch. Pretty simple. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go over to the passenger side to show you the kill switch. So we made it very simple with this kill switch. Um, it's just a toggle switch, and it's hidden underneath the glove box. Up underneath here, you can barely see it, but it's right here. Um, right now, if you push it towards the passenger, you can start the car, push it away from the passenger towards the engine bay. It'll kill power to the car, to the starter, so you can't move the car. It's very simple. And now I'm just going to show you under the hood where the fluids go. So under here we've got the oil fill, uh, di or oil dipstick, and then over here we have the uh, power steering fluid reservoir. Um, there's your washer fluid reservoir, and in this Willwood master cylinder is your brake fluid. Um, up front in the radiator, this is where you put your, your coolant, 
Um, everything is all set, all full, and you shouldn't have to do anything but drive this car. And it is a blast to drive. Uh, there is a trickle charger cord connected to the battery. Um, this is just tucked down next to the battery. And there's a trickle charger with this car. Anytime you're not driving this car, you should have it plugged into the trickle charger to keep the battery from draining. Um, it's very simple. It's a beautiful car. And I think that's it. If you have any questions, Kevin, you can contact Joe or myself. Um, my email is toms at verillamotorcar.com or you can call the dealership. Um, yeah. So they're coming to pick this up uh, later this morning. So I know you got to be excited and you'll be seeing it soon. We thank you for your business and give us a call if you need anything.